Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you how to make a boost converter or DC to DC voltage booster using the 555 timer. The principle of the boost converter is very simple. It is based on an inductor. When we apply current to an inductor, a magnetic field surrounds the inductor. When we disconnects the current, the magnetic field collapses and induces a voltage on the inductor which, depending on the number of turns, can be less or higher than the applied voltage. To illustrate this effect, I will connect this LED to the inductor and I will apply a voltage of 1 volt. As you may know, you need at least 2 or 2.5 volts to turn on an LED. 1 volt is not enough, but the effect of the inductance will increase the voltage and the LED will turn on. I'm going to connect. You can see that the LED is off, but when I disconnect the current, the LED turns on momentarily. Again, as you can see, the LED only turns on when the current is disconnected from the inductor. And the idea of the boost converter is to make the commutation very, very fast in order for the higher voltage to be continuous. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, this is the circuit. You apply an input voltage and here you obtain an output voltage that will be higher than the applied voltage. The circuit is based on the 555 timer in a stable mode. That means that at pin 3 of the timer we obtain a train of rectangular pulses. Let me show you in the oscilloscope. Ok, I connected the oscilloscope to pin 3 of the timer and here you can see the train of rectangular pulses that we obtain. The circuit works in the following way. At the beginning of one of the pulses as pin 3, this goes to the base of the transistor. The transistor turns on and then the current can flow through the inductor. Then the pulse ends, no current is at the base of the transistor and the transistor turns off. Now there is no current flowing in the inductor, the magnetic field collapses and induces a higher voltage on the inductor. Since the current cannot flow through the transistor, it goes through this diode and charges this capacitor at the output at a voltage higher than the input voltage. And this is the voltage that we obtain here at the output. Ok, so let's test the circuit. First I am using this uh, very small inductor with only 5 turns. Let's see, I'm going to turn on the power supply with an input voltage of 3 volts and we can see that at the output we get uh, more than double that voltage, 7 volts. With this potentiometer we can vary the output voltage a little bit and of course the output voltage also depends on the inductor. Let me try now with this other inductor that has around 20 turns. I'm going to change it. 
so we should get a higher voltage now let's see we get around almost 60 volts again we can vary this a little bit with the potentiometer not from zero but we get some control of the output voltage and finally I'm going to use this other inductor from a CL uh, lamp this should have more than 100 turns so the voltage must be even higher I'm going to connect and let's see we get uh, 151 volts at the output of course in this simple circuit the output is not regulated and the output voltage varies with the current that we draw from the circuit the more current that we demand the higher the voltage drop let's see by connecting this small neon lamp to the output okay let's see let me turn on the power supply you can see the neon lamp is on and the output voltage is 62 volts that is lower than the 150 volts that we originally had because we are drawing current with the neon lamp the higher the current draw the larger the voltage drop that we will have if we disconnect the lamp now the voltage again rises to 150 volts okay that's all for today i hope you liked the video if that is the case please visit my patreon page thanks for coming and see you in the next video